All right, so I've waited to do this video so I can kind of get myself straight before I talk about it so it's not just an angry rant about what happened, but all right, here we go. So and I'm going to have a couple notes because keep me on track here. Uh, let's see. So, of course, we're going to talk about the Buffalo, New York shooting. So, this is going to be turned into an angry rant anyway, but whatever. So, this no-name man walks into a neighborhood market in a predominantly African-American section of Buffalo, kills 10, wounds 3, live streams it on Twitch for thousands or millions to view, And it's still alive somehow. But he couldn't even do it originally. He couldn't even come up with an original plan to do what he wanted to do. He wrote a 180 page manifesto that pretty much copies another manifesto that we all know about and changes a little things here and there like he's in the ninth grade writing a paper the night before and doesn't want it to pop up as plagiarized in the computer. And he does it in a Q&A form. Like he's being interviewed. He throws in these little, you know, buzzwords for all these anti-gun lobbyists that are now going to take and tear this apart and use it against the people who actually have guns that they use them for the right things. But, so he, he goes in, and if you've seen the video, he gets out of his car, just like another famed shooting video, and just starts spraying away. Cool. Same thing happened in 2019. Man gets out of his car and starts spraying away. But here's what happened. And you can see it happen in the video where it becomes that it is truly racial fueled when he's going through shooting all the African Americans that he can see but walks to this white guy who's laying on the floor begging for his life and goes, I'm sorry, and walks away. So this piece of utter shit doesn't even get killed in it. He walks away, gets arrested. So what, he's, what is he gonna do now? He's gonna go to prison, and he's gonna be protected by the other racial gangs, the white supremacist gangs, and he's gonna be held up like a god for what he did. He knew if he killed himself, he wouldn't get all this publicity. That's all he did it for. He did it for clout. He live streamed it. And you can still see the video today. And that's another thing that needs to be fixed. Not too long ago, I had my best friend kill himself on Facebook Live. Facebook didn't take down the video for two or three days. It's still being sent to people. It's still showing up on shock sites of a man blowing his head off at his computer. This video is now doing the same thing. You can do a Google search and still see it. Come on. You will block all these social media sites that are pointing towards you. You will block anything pro-gun but you allow people to watch somebody, a human being, shoot themselves on your platform. How does that even work? That you would rather take away an amendment right to the people doing no harm that are doing nothing that's illegal. That you're doing it out so everybody feels safe but you will allow a mass shooting to be live streamed on your site. You will allow someone to live stream them shooting themselves on your site and not take it down for two days after hundreds and thousands of people reported it. But it didn't go against community guidelines. But as soon as somebody posts a picture of any kind of gun or anything, it's automatically against community guidelines. This is what's wrong with today's society. This person is getting all the clout because he walked in and killed 10 people, mostly black. 
you're allowing that this racist disgrace to the world you're allowing him all this publicity but a no-name person wants to post about their recent transaction or hey i customized my ar sorry customized my ar and you take it down you won't even let it be posted but you will let that piece of shit get all the publicity he wants that's all he was out to do was get publicity now he's he is a god with the white supremacy groups guarantee it so here we are he even said that he went here's another little tidbit for you he went to New York because he wanted to prove a point because New York has some of the strictest gun laws but you got the same people like whatever name is Patsy or whatever her name is standing out front going this is a disgrace because it happened in my hometown well you put all these anti-gun laws there and it still happened in your hometown you did a lot of good didn't you so I was, I'm, I'm excited to see what happens out of all this I want to see what kind of charge he gets because as we know the system isn't always in everybody's favor and I guarantee he'll be in his favor he'll plead insanity probably spend the rest of her life in jail or not in jail prison or a mental institution and be highly famed with the racial groups they'll protect him he won't get hurt in prison they'll protect him and, and that's sad that the the person who doesn't need protected is going to get the most protection these next couple of days the cops and government are going to protect him even more i guarantee when he shows up to trial he'll have a bulletproof vest on because they're so scared that someone's going to kill him like he deserves. You know, my heart goes out to the families that lost loved ones in this. Um, I've looked into all 10 victims and they all, you know, every one of them looked like they were amazing people that did not deserve to die that day. And if for some reason you're a family member watching this, my condolences and my heart really does go out to you. It's something horrible that should have never happened. And it just should have never happened. But now that this has been live streamed and been able to keep up and you know, people that are in the right state of mind or in his state of mind are saying that he was highly famed for what he did, it's gonna happen again. We're grooming mass shooters. The media is grooming mass shooters. They're showing them exactly how to get away with it. That's why he got away with it. New Zealand, you know, he killed a bunch more people, but he live streamed it. He put what racial slurs and slurs on his rifles. Same thing happened with this guy. Eight year old probably watched that video, said, I can do that. Watch this. Does does the whole thing, a hundred eighty page manifesto of gibberish and stuff that looks like he just copied it out of a workbook. The racial slurs on the gun, everything was just copy and paste. Stop grooming mass shooters. But I guess that's my rant. So yeah, hopefully this dude gets what he deserves, but I highly doubt it. But until then, stay armed and stay positive that us two-way guys we're going to come out on top of all of this but i'll catch you next time